Hi there. Today I want to talk about how to turn your iPad Pro into a graphics tablet for sharing all sorts of things like drawings and anything on your iPad screen with anybody who's watching your computer screen. Keep watching to find out exactly how I do this. Okay, so over the last few weeks since I've been doing these live events, the number one question that I've been getting from a lot of people is, how on earth do I do those special kind of drawings on my screen? And the answer is very simple. I use my iPad Pro with a pencil and the QuickTime program basically. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that so that you can do it too. And then I might talk about a few different applications that you can use it for. But the main thing is being able to share your iPad screen on your computer screen and from there, the world is your oyster. So in terms of the stuff that you need, the first thing you need is preferably an iPad Pro. It's not essential, but it is easier because it's nice and bigger. And the second thing is your an Apple Pencil, and that just works so well with the Apple uh, iPad Pro. They work together extremely well. With the smaller iPads, uh, it's a little bit harder to be very specific with your drawings. So this is my number one recommendation for doing this. You need this, and you also need the QuickTime software. So, uh, and, and then the other thing you need, I'm gonna switch over to my other little camera here, is uh, your little connector here. What's this, the thunder, is this Thunderbolt? Whatever this connector is. We need, you need this connector um, and an, an iPad that has a connector like this to be able to make this work. Without this sort of connector, uh, you're just not gonna make it work with the setup that I'm gonna show you today. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing to do is to plug in your iPad into your computer with this thing, so with this uh, cable. So this one into your iPad and the other side into the back of your computer. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'll do this all live. So plug it right in and then make sure your iPad gets turned on so it'll get turned on automatically. And I'll just turn this on. And so the next thing you do, I'm going to start sharing my screen now, is to open up QuickTime. And so I'm just going to open up the QuickTime player. So if you don't have this, you can, you can download it for free. Just do a search for it on Google and you can get it. Now the magical thing that happens is next. So what you got to do, once you have your iPad plugged in, is you go up here to where it says File and click on New Movie Recording. And then it'll come up with basically the QuickTime player. Uh, and sometimes it'll default to your camera uh, that you're using. Uh, but what you wanna do is see this little red button here where you normally click record. What you gotta do is click on that little arrow right next to it and you'll see this drop down box. Uh, and then you can select your iPad as one of the things that are plugged in there. So I'm gonna click that. And now you should see my iPad screen being shared already there it is voila so this is all i had to do now to share my ipad screen and now basically you can open up any app on this particular ipad screen and do stuff with it so the way that i do it is i i open up the notes app and i've just found the notes app to be the best so far in terms of responsiveness for drawing stuff on the screen and you know when you click on this little little squiggle thing on the bottom right that allows you to create a new a new drawing and it just works really really well you know it just works extremely well so this is what I use now of course what you can do now in terms of applications there's all sorts of things so I use it for my live streaming uh, events uh, where it, it, you know I have the ability to share any part of my screen so I can actually zoom into it so for example here if I just pull this into the right window it looks like I'm going full screen here which looks pretty cool so it's just a matter of me zooming into the screen and then sharing that part of the screen using my software that I've got here with Wirecast uh, but of course if you're running a presentation to an actual audience of people in a room uh, all you've got to do is share your iPad on your screen and then project your screen onto the big projector so that's another really cool application. I've seen other people use an application like AstroPad. I can't remember if I've got it on this particular app. Yes, I do, uh, on this iPad. So the AstroPad app is a pretty cool one, and this basically allows you to do all sorts of really cool stuff as well for essentially turning your iPad into a graphics tablet. 
and it works extremely well once again. So this, this allows you to basically uh, connect up with your screen and basically control your screen. So let me see if I've got it on here, Astro Pad. I haven't done this for a while. It's, uh, let's see, I've got it. In, mm, see, it wants me to update now, but I haven't done this for a while. But anyway, you can do this and um, yeah, it's, it's not gonna work for right now because I haven't, I haven't uh, updated my app for a while. But you can use the Astro Pad app for basically controlling your screen and doing stuff on your screen uh, instead of doing stuff on the iPad. So beautiful, beautiful application for that as well. Anyway, those are just a few things that I wanted to show you. It's super easy as you can see, as you can see and I hope you have a lot of fun with it too. I'm gonna jump over now to the Q&A part of today's call and uh, these are only available to people watching this live. If you do wanna join in live, I run these at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, most business days, so make sure you tune in, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get the updates and also make sure you share this and give us a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll jump into the Q&A now for our live callers. Bye-bye.